Hi, and welcome to the Automation Partnership. We're an automation company based in Royston, UK. Um, we began with the um, automation of EPO production in the cell mates, and from that grew into creating the Select T, which is really called the Select Off, and the customer is called Select T, which held 182 flasks, T175 flasks, and serviced most of the um, high throughput screening labs of Merck and Pfizer and all of your large pharmaceutical companies. From there we have since grown into smaller units as things have gone to directed screens and as we've seen higher and higher cell based assays come into the uh, academic arenas and the small biotechs. So we then moved into the Compact Select which now holds anywhere from um, 90 to 120 uh, of different cell lines in the unit itself can change which cell lines you have within there and set up each assay to be handled separately by the robotics. Um, here's some actual video of the robot uh, doing some of the work and all of this is in an aseptic mode. So all of the cells are handled within the protocol that you set up, barcoded, read, and um, run to protocol. So each protocol can be separate. All of this is done obviously by the user setting up the protocol itself and entering them in to be run for feeding, seeding, splitting, whatever actually you need to do for the cell line itself. Um, that cell, those cell lines can then also be run 24 hours out of hours. So you now have a longer uh, week to be able to be running your cells and not having to come in to actually do the work itself on the weekends. The unit will do it since it will run out of hours. Um, from this, we really went to this so it would be more of a small scale unit for the labs. We've now been going and using our engineering experience to get into things like the benchtop units. So we've come out with a benchtop line of which now we have this capper to capper, which I'll actually be running. Um, it will take 24-way or 96-way tubes. It will decap them. This entire unit can be put into a BSC. So you could be running your cells in here in a stirred fashion. It will decap them, hold the, hold the caps, come out and actually fill anywhere from 100 microliters to 5 microliters in each tube. So this will allow you a full aseptic filling of your cell banks if you're creating them and allow them then to go into cryo-freeze to add. Um, another thing that the Automation Partnership is starting to do now is work with other companies and make partners like Avisa. So the other unit we have here on display is the Cell Selector. And what this is, is a German company that we've partnered with who actually has had this unit out for a few years and it is a cell or a colony picker. So you set in your parameters, you use the microscope to scan the plate looking for the cells that match the parameters that you've set up and the unit will then, after that, you'll create a pick list and it will go in and actually pick the cells themselves and place them into a plate for your selection. Um, at this point we're picking um, anywhere from 400 to 600 micron beads with an 800 micron tip. The tip will do a scrape motion in a crosshair. Uh, we also have a glass capillary that will go all the way down to 50 micron. So you could be picking single cells and things that would not be fully confident. So you could pick as low as single cells, parts of a colony, or the colony itself. So we hope you stop by. We're always innovating, always growing, um, creating new equipment, and uh, look forward to seeing future people at, at DBT. Thank you.